Yo, so we got ourselves a huge stack of books. I got some slabs I picked up. Let's run that intro. Warriors, this is Greg Capullo giving you a shout out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time to be there because I'm an artist instead of a writer. So anyway, just giving you a shout out. NY Warriors, stick with them. The hardcore, it's a real deal. Do it. Yo, thank you everyone for clicking on this video. Appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that alert bell. You know, that way you can know when I drop videos like this. We've been putting out a lot of content on the channel lately. And I just want to thank everyone that joined us for yesterday's Wednesday nights. Well, you're probably going to see this video Friday. So I would just say Wednesday night's auction. Uh, but that was just a one-off. We will be back the, the following week to our regularly scheduled time, which is Fridays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, come for the deal, stay for the labs. You know how we do on that. Uh, also, um, starting probably next week, most likely I will do a little return to coffee and comics, but I'm looking to run it on a Sunday morning uh, because I, if we're running an auction Friday night, late night, usually they go up to about 1 o'clock in the morning. There's no way I'm going to get up in a few hours just to, you know, to do the show, to do the Coffee Comics. So I may have to be on a Sunday. I'll talk to the fellas and see what's up, you know. And also, guys, you know, all my my uh, sponsors, the links for everything is in the description below and instructions how you can get discounts to the Geeky Swag Shop, to Second Alarm Comics, to Express Comic Person Service with Erod, and to Skeleton Comics, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to run through the video quick because I do have a lot of books I want to show you guys, and I don't want the video to be too long, you know. So um, I'm just get right into it nope oh, oh one more thing also anyone that bought from me on this past wednesday's auction books are already packed up labeled and they will be shipping out uh to the post office friday morning all right so you should get everything pretty quick uh first set of books i'm gonna get i got from is from sans group uh sans here he had his own variant and i wanted to show support so i picked up two copies of the hunger number one virgin variants uh, so that's pretty dope. These homage the movie, the Book of Eli with Denzel Washington. So um, shout out to him for um, you know having his own variant, which is pretty dope. Uh, one is gonna I'm gonna keep one, and I'm gonna give one away to a subscriber in a future giveaway on the channel. You know, uh, the next set of books are from him also. Uh, I don't know if they're ratios or they're just A B C variants on these. Um, but I just picked them up because there was other books in that lot that I really wanted. Um, so we have here Star Wars Crimson Rain issue number four, which is a nice cover anyway. Uh, which that's a variant. So is this one here. Uh, this is issue number three. And then uh, this one here with uh, Chrysanthemum, Black Chrysanthemum on the cover. That's a variant as well. Uh, Crimson Rain issue number three. Uh, then you have Star Wars Obi-Wan. Uh, number one, this is a variant also. I'm not sure if his ratio is just a B variant. Now. I'm not really keeping up with the new books anymore. You know, I just kind of like fell back on them because new books could, could add up real fast, you know, and I'd rather buy stuff that I want to keep in my collection, like certain Bronze Age and Silver Age, which you'll see in this um in, in this whole video, you know, so really nice cover there, Obi-Wan. And now this one I wanted specifically for one reason because this is is Obi Wan Kenobi. David Nakayama is the artist. It is a variant, but it's a celebration Star Wars celebration exclusive that they had you know a few weeks ago, um, and that was, it was pretty dope. I liked it. You know, I like the way it looks. Uh, really nice, and uh, the fact that it's a it's a celebration exclusive. You know, uh, so I'm, that's why that's one of the reasons I got this lot because of, mainly because of this book and a book that I've had. And I ended up selling it, regret it, and, you know, so uh, seller's remorse. He had a nice-looking, decent copy, and I, I picked it up. So this is uh, Star Wars Jedi Yoda. Uh, first appearance of Ka uh, Kyle Castus, Cascus, you know, from the um, the Fallen Order game. Uh, there you go. Beautiful book. Dope. So this time is definitely staying in the PC, you know. All right, so that's what I got from Sands. That was all in that lot, so that's why I picked up that lot. Just you know, because of celebration and the, the the Star Wars Jedi Yoda book. Um, next pickups are all going to be from whatnot from different sellers. Um, 
and uh yeah some of the sellers i don't really know who they are um if i know them i would, I would give the shout out like when you know you want to buy from erod or certain specific people that are that we know are on one but so, there's so many sellers on there now that i don't know who's who sometimes so um just another variant here crimson rain issue number two really nice cover <clears throat> And uh, this one I bought from the same seller because I, I just I hate just having one book shipped. You know, I know how that feeling is because I sold a few times and whatnot. So I try to if I buy something from someone, I try to unless, you know, if it's a slab, it's a slab. It's fine. But if it's a roll book, I try to buy another one just to make the package a little better or whatever or capitalize on my shipping costs already, you know. So I got this nice cover. Um, David Nakayama, also punchline issue number one. Uh, it's a really nice cover right there. All right, so that was from one seller. Then the next set of books, uh, it's <laughs> these books. I literally hoard them. I got multiple copies of of them, but they were going for so low, and I just you know couldn't resist. You know, <laughs> so let me just show you. Um, yeah, so I got multiple copies of these books. So one day myself, I got to go. I can actually go and make a set from my back issue stock myself, and I could probably put up a set for auction on one of my auctions, you know, one of the new YouTube auctions. So I just haven't done it yet, but I will do it. Uh, Mr. Miracle issue number 11. So it's pretty dope. Nice Bronze Age book. Uh, Mr. Miracle issue number 10. So, you know, Jack Kirby goodness. This whole Mr. Miracle run is awesome. Um, issue number nine. Nine. And these these are in really nice condition. I would say I looked through all of them already, kind of, you know, like uh to and I would say anywhere between the sevens, seven O's and eight five. So that's pretty good for uh the age of these books. Uh issue number eight. And issue number three, you know, I, I probably got like four copies of issue number three, so I got to um, really go through it, you know, so then he was also selling some other stuff too, and some of them were just impulse buys, uh, Omega Man issue number 10, yeah, I got this one for real cheap, maybe like two bucks, and uh, this one I got for like five dollars. From the same seller. This is Batman issue 225. Just a nice little, you know, I would say late Silver Age, early bronze is a 15 center. So it's probably 1969, if I'm not mistaken. I still consider that Silver Age. Um, really nice. Batman. And then the last book I got from him, uh, this was in pretty nice condition. I would say it's probably, a, I would say about an 8.0 maybe. This is Tuma Dracula issue number 51. You see Blade on the cover. So it's, a, it's really nice, you know, when you get the old school blade on there. So that's pretty dope. I'm happy with that. So that was from Whatnot. I do have some more Whatnot stuff, but they're graded books. We're just going to go through some of the community books right now. So I I, I picked up this set from Yahweh on, on Sands Auction. Uh, this is, you know, Star Wars number one from Comics. Elite, if I'm not mistaken, that's that's the, the store exclusive. But they are early John Tyler, John Tyler Christopher Negative Space variant. So this is the black and white one, which I have a copy of the black and white one, but I didn't have the color. And he had the set on Sands Auction, which is pretty dope. So I picked up the set. I already transferred them there in Mylar's, and, I, and I'm using the clear. Oh, they they're Comic Exposure. Sorry, not Comics Elite. Comics Exposure. So I put them with the clear backing boards in the back. So I just love the way these came out. These are real nice. These are real nice. So that was from Yahweh. So shout out to him. Uh, these next set of books I got from Uncle Roman. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Roman was on my auction, uh, New York Warriors auction, uh, like a week ago. And um, nobody bid on these. So I'm like, wow, nobody bids on these. And some of these books have been hitting the, the top list. So you, you'll see which one I'm talking about. So uh first book here is star wars issue number 41 from the original marvel run i think this is the cameo of yoda if i'm not mistaken um nice and uh these are kind of like i would say the condition on this my best guess is probably seven five you know so it's pretty pretty good condition on this one um awesome 
and then uh this book this is a big book too uh and i would say this one's probably about a 6.5 6 condition on this book um awesome book though crazy book uh happy i have it <laughs> uh star wars issue number two man so this is the first full obi-wan kenobi because on issue number one he's just on the cover not inside the book but here he's inside the book and on the cover uh first han solo first chewbacca and i believe i think that's it if i'm not mistaken if there's one more just you know just let me know in the comment section but i think those are the main three in this um in this issue in issue number two because uh luke leia c3po r2d2 and darth vader are in issue one and then i've you know i've been hunting these negative space variants you know prices are all over this place with them i, I want the original star wars run of it um so i already have anakin i already have luke um and i'm missing i'm missing i think the emperor if i'm not mistaken the emperor but i was able to pick up this one here uh bam so this is star wars issue number 66 john tyler christopher negative space Ramy with yoda awesome it does have like a little indent on the middle of the of the book or on his arm you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera but um i'm gonna see if hopefully i can press that out um and get it graded you know because my anakin came back came back in 98 you guys saw my unboxings all right next set of books real quick guys are from uh these are these were an instagram purchase i forgot who on instagram i'm mistaken i'm sorry man um I, I usually buy books from like ab comics from earthly possessions you know guys like that that put up sometimes stuff um for really discounted prices and then uh you know i'll do some I'll, I'll, pick, I'll pick them up um some of these are doubles for me always because i'm always picking up the same stuff over and over again you know um but sometimes the books the price are so low and i'm always looking to upgrade that you just can't Help yourself, you know, a very underrated book right here. And I do have a 9A slab signed by Louis Simonson of this next book I'm going to show you. But I always pick it up when I find it in high grade because um, you never know. Uh, this is Superman, Man of Steel, issue number 18. This is the first printing, uh, first uh, full appearance of Doomsday. Um, so I always pick that up whenever I get a chance. Really nice condition. Near Mint, you know. Then these I've been picking up the direct and the newsstand because they have a direct and a newsstand for for these for the Frank Miller Daredevil run. So and then I also they they're always in different types of conditions. Some are beat up, some are really uh, near mint. So I, I pick them up every time I see them, and I've been trying to kind of create like a master set for myself, you know. And then I just get rid of all the other ones, you know. A master set of the direct and the newsstand of each issue. Uh, so I picked up another copy of Daredevil 180, 182. I just love this when he's hugging the, the you know the tombstone there of Electra. And this one is a newsstand, and I, I have to check if the other one is a direct or newsstand that I have. Um, this one, this is probably my fourth copy of this one. I got two. Uh, now I'm gonna have with this one. I'm gonna have two directs and two newsstands of it. Um, uh, Daredevil 184. Just great cover, man. Great cover. You know, awesome, awesome cover. You know uh damn i just love it that yellow pops the red the gun man oof they don't they won't make a cover like this nowadays you know marvel won't make one like this now you know prove me wrong marvel do one <laughs> uh next is um did that issue 179 awesome yellow cover electra the side through uh the devil's mask awesome this one's a direct dope 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 cover <clears throat> real happy with that and the next set of books are some older classic books. Um, I got these from from Josh Grav. These are actually from Richie's uh, store. That collection came in from Silver Age, and I picked a few of them that I wanted for my collection. You know, I sent him the money. He shipped them to me. Uh, this is Batman 150. Batman 150. So it's a nice Silver Age Batman book right there. Awesome. You know, saving this one for uh, a future tag on instagram that my boy joker we've been joker's been uh tagging along tagging everybody for like throwdown thursday top every you know tuesday stuff like that so i'm, I'm save this one for a throwdown thursday right there uh next book um superman issue 167 i do have a copy of this but it's really beat up this one's not that great but it's better than the one i have um I'm not sure if this is the first team up of Brainiac and 
Lex Luthor. I, I can't remember I'm drawing a blank right now, but if you guys know in the center, let me know. I, I think it is, but I could be wrong if this is the, the specific book. Uh, yeah, so Superman 167. There you go. And last but not least, this will probably be my third copy of this book. I have a graded one at a 7.5, which is high grade for that book because this book is from like 1964 around there. This is um, Adventure Comics issue number 324. And this is uh, first Beast Boy, but not the Garth Beast Boy. Um, this is like the first iteration of that character, um, Gas Girl. And I forgot what this guy's name is, but it's the first appearance of those Legion of superhero characters, you know? So the... I always pick that up whenever I see it. It's this cheap book. It doesn't go for much, you know. Now, the next books are four slabs I picked up on whatnot. I picked them up from Spider-Man booth. Yo, those guys are on whatnot selling every single day, almost every hour of the day. Every time I've looked on, they're always on there. Always on there. And they start sometimes slabs off at a dollar. And they lose their ass. They lose their ass on it. I'm telling you, man. Because some of these slabs, I know, cost some more to get them done. I don't know how they, they do it whatever but some of these i got for really really cheap you know um i'm talking about maybe 50 60 bucks cheap for a slab you know that to me that's pretty cheap for a signature series 9.8 cgc you know um so some of them uh one of them i'm keeping there's a definite i'm gonna show you which one i'm keeping for me uh this is war of the bounty hunters issue war of the bounty hunters alpha issue number one 9.8 cgc uh witness signature by miko suyen so it's just really nice um cover there and also, um, this book, it doesn't note it there, but it's the, it's the first time you see Boba Fett in the Beskar, the black Beskar armor. So um, they don't really note that because it's a newer book, but that's the first time we saw that. You know, so this is dope. Um, this is a street, you have a street level hero and unknown exclusive together, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, so these are all from the same auction. Uh, so I won these, you know, 60, 70 bucks, you know, so not bad. Um, you know, each one I'm talking about, you know, uh, alien issue number four. Um, this is the virgin variant, street level hero again, exclusive. Um, also signed by Miko Suyen. It's a really nice aliens cover, man. Look at that, that's dope. Signature in green, which is nice, you know, back, yellow witness. Dope. All right. Uh, next book. That aliens book. I might save that aliens book for a giveaway. Um, next book here is Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one. Um, you know, it's an ASM three hundred homage cover. You know, Wolverine as a zombie there. Miko Suyen. Awesome. Nice. Really nice looking book. Yeah. And then the last book, which is a dope book. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to keep, I'm thinking about keeping this one. I'm not sure 100% yet, you know. I don't know. I'm impulse like that. I, I keep, I don't, I don't know. This is uh, Thor issue number six, the second printing, uh, 9.8, wraparound cover signed by um, Donnie Cates. So. That's pretty dope. Thanos, you know, they go the wrap around. That's dope. He has the stones on Mio in here. So, yeah. Yeah, really nice. Really nice um, cover on this one. Really like it. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's my whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See the different range of stuff I pick up. But anyone that knows me, um, the slabs are like something I probably would normally would not pick up, but the raw books are that's me all day. Star Wars, some Star Wars variants, classic DC, Silver Age, Copper Age, Frank Miller, Daredevil stuff. Can't go wrong with those, you know. So, um, guys, that's it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, and that's it. Until next time, peace. Warriors, this is Greg Capullo giving you a shout out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time to be there because I'm an artist instead of a writer. So, anyway, just giving you a shout out. NY Warriors, stick with them. The hardcore is the real deal. Do it.